Hi guys, welcome back to Final Fantasy Tactics, The War of the Lions, this is Epsilon, and today we are heading into Zeltinia Castle to finish up some story we have there, so let's head right into it. Just go right there. Come on. I feel there should have been a video right there. So, I'm not entirely sure. I think there should have been a video right there. If there is, I will, of course, put the link in the description as well as right there before the video itself. Uh, three more people. Let's bring Spring Mustadio as a healer. Uh, let's bring Agrius because I just... Agrius is almost going to be always in our party until we have one of the other Holy Knights who's stronger than her. Just because her ability set is just so good. Hmm. I don't know. Who haven't we seen in a while? I feel we've not seen Roan in a while, because he's been training to become a ninja. So we'll bring Roan with us. He's 84 MP. <laughs> Outlying Church. Confessor Zalmor. The Black Rune Knights, Delta Herald, yours is an unexpected sight. He has seen me. He must not live to tell the tale of it. We must fight them, Ramza. They know nothing of the High Confessor's plot. They serve him blindly. If we explain what has happened, they may well listen. Hear your words, Ramza. Reasoning with their ilk is folly. Even you must see this. But you, you have leave to try. Beat to Zalmor. Yes, there was definitely a story there that we did not see. For some reason. Bring it on, Zalmor. Wait, I brought Boko? Oh, oops. I didn't even realize. <laughs> oops. Well, my bad. Sorry, Mustadio. Apparently, you're not coming with us. <laughs> Just Boko is. Nope, nope. Right on top of his face. We'll make this a short fight. Um, what you doing, Delita? Delita? Can you kill him? Can you kill him? Howard Bolt! Wow, we are already super close to killing Zalmor. <laughs> like, he is silenced and down. This is great. Um, excuse me. I can't see. Whatever, we'll go this way. We'll go this way, then. Look at Roan, trying to be helpful. He's really close to being a ninja, which, at which point he will be, like, one of our strongest. You realize what it is you do? This man is a heretic. You do that a bet... You that do abet him shall share his fate. I did not think to find the commander of the Black Room Knights a traitor to our cause. My choice is made. If it means I must slay each of you to the man, so be it. You should tremble with fear to mock the heavens so. To slay a man of the cloth is to wound this fair land's peace and turn your back on the natural order the Father has bestowed on us. It is to turn your back on the gods. Ruin the peace? Ha! You hide behind this peace only as it suits you. You invoke the name of the gods to subjugate the weak. This peace you hail is a vile farce. Men such as you profane the gods to speak their names. <laughs> Are you going to give Boko Atheist? I still want to know what that does. I have no idea what that does. Like, none at all. <laughs> what does it mean if you give a character Atheist? Because <laughs> like, I looked at their faith, and their faith hadn't dropped to zero, so obviously it didn't affect their faith any. So well, what does it do? <laughs> it is not the gods that concern me, but the truth. Truth, you say? Do you name the charges against you false? Our holy office offered you a forum in which to clear your name, to absolve yourself of the charges of murder and theft that dogged you. But you discarded this chance like so much night soil. You fled, and in so running proved your guilt. You've been tried and found guilty, Ramza Maelv. Your only absolution now is in death. The hour of your plea comes too late. Then you force my hand. 
he says as he goes to attack someone completely unrelated. Um, actually, let's let's use shout. It is a new move we have that increases speed and um, attack and defense and just everything. It's like, yeah, there we go. See, look at all that. It's it's tailwind plus all the other things. I love it. We'll never be using tailwind again at this point. Can she get up there? Can she? No. No. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. I accept this. Jump on that man. Jump on him and kill him. Nobody can jump. Nobody can get on the roof very well. We are lucky we had Boko, so we, we could end this fight swiftly. What are you doing? Hesitation. Oh no! Don't! God! Ah! Fine. Boko, you live another day. Not oh, Boko, Zalmor. Ugh. Whatever. Ever. Fine. I'll be back. I'll be back. Let's actually have him cast a uh, Hastasia. I got 11 turns. Ridiculous. Oh, ridiculous. And yeah, just wait there. Don't move. I feel you. Never mind. I feel you could have set yourself up a little better, better, Delita, to be able to strike both of them. He's five HP. This is it. Five. Just five. Thirty-five now, but that's still enough for Boko to have been able to just meteor his face to death. Force my hand, indeed. Will murder you. Um, uh, no. I always hit Arts of War. I need most one strike. Okay, so she does not have very many knight abilities. Come on, instant KO. Just get him out of the way. Beautiful. And then wait here for Hasteja to go off. And we will have you shout again. Excuse me, shout. So you can go a little bit faster and all that stuff. And hopefully you'll be hit, hit by Hastesha as well. I wonder if Zalmor has anything worth stealing. We do have Mirren with us, so theoretically she could go steal things. Mystics. Random mystics. Yeah, whatever. Cancel. Turn it. And take us up to Zalmor, please. What are you wearing, sir? Who are you wearing? Oh, nothing. That's all garbage. That is all garbage. How about your knight here? What is he wearing? Uh, the black robe is interesting, but this is not enough for me to actually attempt. He also has the ability, equip heavy armor, and then is wearing a black robe. Which, he doesn't need the ability because he's a knight, and then he's not wearing heavy armor. Wow. Wow, game. Way to hobble yourself there. Uh, nope. All garbage. Re-equip. Absorb MP. Ooh, let's not cast spells on him. Not that I don't think I have anybody with me who's casting spells. Well, I guess... I guess technically Roan is, but you know what I'm saying. He doesn't cast them offensively. He could, but he's not. We don't have Meteor yet, and... The gravity spells are kind of... Shiza. Shiza! Come on! Haste! Aw, poor Boko. Poor Boko. Okay. I get to go in, Rune. Get up there. Shank a man. Shank a man deeply. You stay with the group, Boko. Hopefully your disability will wear off eventually. I really hope it does. And Agrius. They'll get close enough for us to whack soon. Salmor is not long for this world. Look at Ramza. Already getting extra turns. Ramza. You're so fast. What are you doing, Salmor? You gonna you gonna move somewhere else? You're still silenced. I feel it's probably gonna end up being Delta who gets to him first. It's just a feeling. Even though Delta isn't hasted, he is he is well, maybe Agrius might. Agrius or Miran might. This mirror has like an, a ridiculous jump, so she might be able to get on the roof soon. 
Especially because those mystics are getting out of the way for us. How convenient. Uh, it's just a waiting game at this point. I know... Oh, good. Good. Okay, so I know something happened. There's a video that we missed. And I know what's going on. Uh, just watch the video. Just watch the video. Always watch the video when I, I tag them like that. I'll put them both in the description, so if you're watching on mobile where um, annotations don't work, you can still watch it. And... Oh, thank you. As well as uh, annotate it, so you'll just see it on screen if you're on like a computer. Because I still have no idea why this thing won't... Oh, stop being left damn. I still have no idea why this will not... Um, record the FMVs that happen. Like, it just won't. Well, it's just like, nope, not gonna show them. They're useless. Uh, Zamor's probably dead at this point. <laughs> just gotta get Boko up there. Just gotta hit him with a Choco Meteor. Come on, Choco Meteor. Please be in range. Please be in range. You're in range. 100% chance you're dead. You're dead, and this battle is over, and we only had to kill two innocent men. Had to kill. Great Father, strike these sinners that they may feel you. I'm not a very good actor, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not very good with the acting, as it were. Yes, just give me all the money, because I was down to 250 gil. Which was not very much. Angel Ring, oh good, I think that's the one that gives you re-raise. I really like that one. It's also really expensive. Really expensive. I should give it to Romza. Where will you go now, Ramza? Two errands brought me to Zatinia. The first was to meet with you. The second is to speak with Catalando, the Thunder God. I mean to enlist his aid in exposing the Church's intrigues. How? I have powerful evidence of the Church's misdeeds. The scriptures of Germanic. I spoke with the Count's adopted son, Orin, not long past. He pledged their aid should I bring hard evidence against the Church. Orin, eh? It's all right. She's with me. Mulland has provided several others to help me carry out my task. She is but one. Help you? I was sent to keep watch on you. And a fine job you're doing of it. Only she knows our parts, our plans in full. I trust no other in Gultana's army more. You're the youngest Baal of Ramza, am I right? My name is Valimfra. Val Valmafra. Valmafra. Yes. Valmafra. Okay, I can say it now. I take it you did not come for idle chat? The Northern Order moves. They make for Besselot? Count Orlando himself has departed for the same only just now. Duke Coltana is like to join them soon, at the head of their Black Room Knights, no less. Then we're too late. The fighting will continue. Do not give up yet. I might still convince the Count to avoid this needless bloodshed. Then our paths part once again. Be safe, Delita. And you, Ramza. You mean to let him go? He acts as I expected he would. Even your friends are only pieces to be played. Mind your words, you know not what you say. Such outbursts ill become a man. I need you somewhere else to be. Beta, Sandwaste, and Fort Besselot. Okay, good. We're finally going there. Okay, so we're going to end that for here. Um, I will include the video where it should have been, so you'll know to watch it. And I'll tell you again, please watch it so you know what's going on, obviously. Um, next time, we will head into the Beta Sandwaste. Beta Sandwaste? Well, we'll be starting here next time, so we might actually get into a random battle here at Finneth Creek. Which is entirely possible. I don't know. We'll see. If not, though, or even if that battle is really short, we'll head into the Beta Sand Wastes. So, we can get on with the story and finally catch up with Orlando. 
it's going to be exciting when that happens, I, I won't lie. I'm looking forward to it a lot. So like, leave a comment, subscribe, the whole thing you hear at the end of our YouTube video. I'd be super duper grateful if you did. And I will see you guys next time. Okay, bye. Endless Caverns They say there's gold to be had in the Endless Caverns, a maze-like series of caves from which no one has ever returned. It may be no more than a rumor, but it's worth a look. Une. Ooh. Une is uh, a character from Final Fantasy III. I wonder if Doja is going to be here too. <laughs> Reports. Endless Caverns. We departed Bavinia. We were set to our task. There were stars. And those were recreated in our goal. Oh, you did. You uncovered a rich vein. We killed endlessly, extracting a great deal of ore. It was a rock. Was it a special rock? It w oh, what is that? What is that? Tell me what that is. Of course, the fortune of Ganaga could not have been greater. Good. That means we passed this one. Chocobo Cannon. I wonder what that is. <laughs> I wonder what that is a reference to. I'm really curious now, to be completely honest. I might want to look that up later. Past Glory. During the Gold Rush, Balvac Mine was alive with miners seeking their fortunes. But even now, there are rumors of hidden veins of gold somewhere in the mines. Could there really be something left in there? Old Philify. What a name. Philify. Reports. Past Glory. You departed Bravinia in high spirits heading to the Balvac Mines. Apparently the stars were with us. Whoa. Really? Dragons plague the surrounding environs. Nonetheless, we remain committed to our goal. Eventually, we uncovered a rich vein. We toiled endlessly, extracting a great deal of ore. Among our find was a large, peculiar rock. We quickly examined the contents. Sealed within was a treasure beyond compare. What is that? Our fortune could not have been greater. I pray all our missions meet with such success. Yggdrasil Mistletoe. Huh. Okie dokie, then. Did we level up? Nope. Okay, then.